Hey guys, welcome back to My Divine Timing Tarot. This is a love reading for Aquarius for the month of May 2023. If this resonates with you, feel free to drop a comment down below and to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. Thank you to everybody for your ongoing support. It's much appreciated. Spirit and guides, please connect me with Aquarius in love and tell me about Aquarius' most recent past love situation what's currently going on in Aquarius's love life right now and the predictive outcome for Aquarius's love life for the month of May 2023 my Aquarius's what's going on Aquarius in love give me three cards what happened in Aquarius most recent past love situation spirit so we have the Ten of Wands, the Five of Cups, and the Ten of Swords. What's currently going on in Aries, uh, Aquarius? I was going to say. <laughs> sorry, guys. What's currently going on in Aquarius's current love life? What's going on in Aquarius's current love life? Give me one more. What is currently going on? So we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Page of Pentacles. And what will be the predictive outcome for Aquarius's love life for the month of May 2023? What's the predictive outcome, Spirit, for my Aquarius? The Aquarius's love life in the month of May 2023, Spirit. King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Cups. All right, we have Taurus and I have all the elements on the table. Well... You know, what I'm seeing right now before I start, Aquarius, I will say your recent past situation compared to your predictive outcome is like from night and day. I just want to let that out. And even your current energy right now, it's like you're in the middle here. Like you've overcome so much from the past is what I want to say, Aquarius. I feel like your most recent uh, love situation there was just so much baggage, so much stress, like whatever situation this was that you went through, it's like you're the one who had to carry all the pain here. You're the one that experienced, you know, this painful ending. You're the one who had, who, who was betrayed, you know, that's what I'm getting. I get that it was like a very painful ending. You know, like this person really stabbed you in the back here and caused you so much even guilt. They made you possibly feel guilty about the situation. Some of you, you just felt so sad and hurt. So let's see. Tell me about the Ten of Wands for Aquarius, Spirit. Tell me about the Ten of Wands for Aquarius, Spirit and Guides. Queen of Swords. I feel like you were... I feel like you knew here, Aquarius, that this was just becoming too much for you. This was more baggage than anything for you. This was becoming more heavy on yourself more than anything. And I feel with that queen of swords, you could have told this person that like that. You could have, you could have told this person directly, like as what they were causing. If you didn't to say it, it's like, you just knew it. You were really analyzing the situation. You were, you know, you're very wise and you knew exactly that this was just too much for you. Clarify the five of cups for Aquarius. The Empress, Taurus and Libra energy. Some of you could have found out that this person um, had kids with somebody else. Or maybe there was someone else in the picture. Or maybe this person left you for someone else. But others of you, if that's not the case, then it's like you just felt, it's like, this person could have blamed you as to why things didn't grow between the both of you. They could have made you feel so guilty 
they could have just it's like they almost played victim they made they made it they try to turn and twist everything around as if you were the problem is what i want to say aquarius and it was the last straw with that ten of swords this person just couldn't give up like they had to hurt you or hurt the most. Like as if they haven't done that throughout the whole process. It's like they was the final thing. Tell me about the Ten of Swords for my Aquarius. Two of Swords. You closed off. You closed off. You were done. Final. Good for you, Aquarius. Right now, Aquarius, I feel like a lot of you could be studying with a Hierophant or you're learning a new skill. You have that page of pentacles. Some of you um, could be starting a new job um, or you're just um, enhancing some sort of skill, whatever that may be. Uh, everybody would be different. But I feel like in terms like there's that knight of pentacles, there's something about taking things slow. I want to see what this is. I feel like there is someone in your life right now with that page of pentacles but this is more so, maybe it's somebody that you work with, maybe it's someone that you've met at school, or if, if that's not the case, this is just like a friend. This is like something very platonic. I'm not seeing love here. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you want things, you know, I feel like this is both your energy and someone else's energy to be honest with you I feel like you're taking things slow as well in terms of love and I feel like whoever is presently in your life right now they're also taking things slow and I feel like the both of you have talked about that that you want to kind of you know just see where things go here like you're very much focused on possibly maybe you went back to school Maybe you're taking, you know, like I said, it, the Hierophant can mean so many different things. You're taking on a new skill. You're enhancing something. Um, you're refreshing something, you know, for work. Like, you're, there's something about, you know, studying, learning something new. Clarify the Hierophant for Aquarius spirit. The world. Maybe some of you um, are doing something where... You're learning something where it requires you to relocate or maybe you're learning something to do with um, traveling is what I'm getting. Maybe some of you had to travel in order to pursue this. I feel like whoever this person is, this page of pentacles, this is someone, could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, doesn't have to be. I'm going to clarify though. But I feel as if, though, that this person's being very supportive here. They could have tried to help you with ideas. You know, it's just very platonic. Clarify this page of pentacles for Aquarius. The seven of wands. This is someone I feel like that has some sort of boundaries. Like this person doesn't want to give in more to the situation than they have is what I'm getting here uh, Aquarius now for your predictive outcome for the month of May I see I see this I feel like it's the same person we have the king of cups the queen of pentacles and the two of cups the king of cups is looking at that queen of pentacles and his love is starting to grow here i feel like it's that same person coming from a page to a king i feel like this person is starting to emotionally open up towards you this is someone i mean you they might not show it but i feel like they are going to with that two of cups i feel like the love or the feelings are mutual between the both of you but this is someone who's very shy like they don't like to show their vulnerable their, their they don't like to show any vulnerability clarify this king of cups spirit and guides for aquarius seven of swords yeah they're being very strategic here they don't want to be vulnerable here they do have feelings for you their feelings are growing for you 
but they're misleading you. They're not going to tell you that. And I feel like you're here with that. I feel like you're in this energy with that queen of pentacles. You're kind of just focused on your money, focused on whatever priorities you have. But at the same time, you're in a good energy. You're, you're, in, you're in a loving, nurturing sort of energy. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Aquarius. Oh, what's the Queen of Pentacles? The Wheel of Fortune, a turning point. feel like you're just, you know, I feel like you're leaving it up to fate in the month of May. And I feel like this person was guided. This was divinely guided towards you, Aquarius, this person. Things were meant to change or this turning point was meant to happen. You were meant to meet this person for a reason. And there's that two of cups. The feelings are mutual here between the both of you. I feel like there's going to be a shared energy closer to the end of May. Clarify the two of cups for Aquarius. Six of pentacles. I feel like you're going to start to notice a change in this person's effort towards you or effort towards the situation. They're going to start slowly showing more feelings towards you. They're going to start to open up more towards you is what I'm getting. You're going to see a change. That's what I have, um, Aquarius. I hope that this reading did resonate and I'll see you guys again.